Hello, happy happy Thursday night, ladies. Welcome to my live. I'm super excited to come to you tonight because I am sharing with you the number one selling eyeshadow palette that I have in my collection. And I can't wait to share this to you because I was going through my, hey Jennifer, I was going through all of my data because I actually did this legitimately. <laughs> um, and I was like, wow, I can't believe how many people love these colors. So if you are here with me live, please say hello. And if you are here and you want to put more money in your wallet, drop a one below. We're going to talk about that at the end. But first off, I'm going to show you, I have this eye done. Okay, and I have my cheeks done, I have my lips done, and I will do this eye for you. So what we're gonna do first is I'm going to, I first always, this is the number one liquid eyeshadow that, I, that I've been selling is the Liquid Light Beam Eyeshadow. I already have this on my eye, I just put it over my lid and all the way up through my uh, lid to my brow to start off. And this by itself is gorgeous, so if these colors are all too much for you, this is a great start for you. So the palette, let me show you what the palette looks like and what the colors are. I did note all the colors above, so you have them all written out for you. So this palette is my number one selling palette. And you, I bet you thought it was going to be basic browns, right? But it's not. And I'm sure all of you have a palette in your cabinet that you are your go-to palette. The one that you grab no matter what, no matter you know what you're wearing, you just know it's like your thoughtless palette where you don't have to think about anything. So this is my go-to palette and it happens to also be the number one thing I sell, which is quite ironic because I think I wear it a lot and so a lot of you like it and then that's, what, and that's why people end up buying it. So I'm gonna show you how this is applied. The first thing I do is, let me show you the colors. I have Blossom, Candlelight, Soft Heather, and Merlot. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna apply the Soft Heathers in the crease of my eye. We're gonna go from the outer corner of my eye through my crease like always. This is a matte shade. And what I love about this, this uh, palette, you guys, is, oh my goodness, it looks good on every skin tone. I have yet to find somebody that this does not look good on. So if you are looking to step up your makeup game a little bit and your brown palette is getting, a, your nude palette is maybe getting a little boring, this is a really great next step for you because it is really gorgeous. And at any time you see me put a color on, you can just stop with that color by itself. Like you could just stop with the soft heathers in your crease. That's really pretty, um, but we're gonna keep going. So just just know that not all the colors may not be for you. And I'm noticing <laughs> like my, uh, my cheek color looks like it's way too dark. I feel very flushed. So, my cheek color is a little dark, but that's okay. We're not looking at my cheeks right now. I feel a little warm. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the Candlelight, which is the second color down, and that one is the light shimmery color all over my lid. This is one of my favorite little shimmer colors. And you know, these are all very neutral shades. Um, hey, Jennifer. Um, okay, I will definitely reach out to you and for Audrey. Um, this is a really neutral shade, but it just gives a really pop of a nice glow to your eye. And although these colors are not specifically spring colors, like listed as spring colors, they are very springy. Um, the next color I'm gonna put on is I'm gonna do the Merlot. And this color probably looks really scary to most of you is the top color. It is my favorite eyeshadow of all time. I could wear this eyeshadow every single day and just be happy, happy, happy. It's just so pretty and it's so gorgeous on every skin color. I love seeing it on bronze women. I love seeing it on really fair women. It's just gorgeous. I'm gonna use the crease brush and I'm gonna apply the Merlot in my crease. Now I'm just gonna re reiterate what I've taught you before is the tip of the brush. I'm just good and like kind of do a swipe down. So you kind of get that, that main focal point of color on the tip of the brush right there in the outer corner of the crease of your eye. And you're gonna use the brush to your advantage and pull it over till about, till right above your pupil. And the reason why you do it this way is because the first place you put the brush has the most color on it. You can see the little dash of color is heavier right there. And that gives the optical illusion of my eyes looking more lifted. So I'm going south, my, you know, everything's going south, you know, as we age, you know, so one of the things that we want to make sure we do when we apply our makeup is to give ourselves a fake eye lift 
without going under that knife. <laughs> so doing it this way really, really does that. Now you can see this eye is blended, this eye is not blended. I like to show this to you because I think the number one fear people have when they put this dark of a color on is that it's gonna look weird. And of course, if I didn't blend this, it's gonna look weird. So I'm just gonna take my Oliver Shadow Brush and I'm just gonna break up the color and I'm just going to pull it down, up, down, up, down, up, down to blend it towards my lid to just make up sure I have all those lines blend it really well. You can't over blend. You can always put more color on, but don't worry about over blending because you can always add more if you blend it too much. So now let's blend it really well. And now what I'm gonna do is take my second all over shadow brush um, and I clean these. If you caught my video yesterday where I was using the greens, this is a really good example of a day where you would want to make sure you use your brush cleaner and clean your brushes because you wouldn't want to mix those greens when you're not wearing green eyeshadow uh, today. So I'm putting the Blossom, which is the color right here on the bottom. This is one of my favorite matte highlighter colors. It has a slight, uh, I wouldn't say, it has a very slight whitish pinkish tint to it. And I just love it so much. It's just so pretty. Um, and I just love it because it's just a different color than all the other colors we have in our collection. So I'm just adding more blending. Now, I always analyze it. If I wanna make it darker, I can make it darker. If I wanna tone it down some, and just blend it more. So now that it's on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyeliner. So I thought I'd show you a different eyeliner. I use my eyeliner pencil all the time, but this one I'm gonna use tonight is the gel eyeliner. And I love this because some of you, um, uh, just need a different type of eyeliner because some of us have different you know skill sets and comfort levels when it comes to applying their makeup. So this one I love doing because you can apply it with a brush. It comes with a brush and the brush it comes with is awesome. Um, I'm just gonna align my eyes right here along my lash line and I'm just using the brush. You can use the brush in your Mary Kay brush collection or the brush that comes with this gel eyeliner. And I personally like this gel eyeliner, especially if I'm going out in the evening. You can see, I don't have it on this eye. I have the gel on this eye and the pencil on this eye. So I just wanna show you the difference. It, is, it glides on really easily, as you can see. And what's nice about it is if you have a hard time getting eyeliner on, it doesn't catch and it just, it's very soft and you can control it. And it's also just really easy to use. It's not a pencil. You dip it into the little pot and you use an eyeliner brush and you can see how easy that is. I love it, I love it, I love it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my mascara on and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do underneath my eyes first. I'm gonna go ahead and use my smudger brush, which is, if I don't, oh no, I might not have it here. Oh, I do, okay. I, eyeshadow smudger brush. I'm using the Merlot, which is the bottom color again. And I'm gonna smudge that under my bottom lash line to give me a little bit of that sultry, smoky look and give my eye a little bit of eye line without it being a harsh line. Um, remember, you can use any eyeshadow in our collection. And if you caught my video yesterday with the, uh, with the greens and apply it the way I applied it yesterday as eyeliner, or if you wanna change the way your um, eyeliner looks. But I love how this gives me that little bit of a smoky eyeline underneath, but you can see how soft it is without it being too bold of a color. Um, you totally can do eyeliner underneath your eye as well if you want to, but I like mine a little softer. And if you struggle with eyeliner moving around, try using this technique because it's a powder and it probably won't move as much on you. You can also set your eyeliner with eyeshadow as well, which will help it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara while I'm talking. On my cheeks, I have um, a little bit of highlighter on my cheeks. I have the... Um, I have the glaze highlighter and I have a little bit of rogue rose on my cheeks as my cheek color, which I think I have a little too much on, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, and then I also have on my lips, I chose the lipstick tonight. I have the new lip kit, the new pink lip kit. So it's the pink lip liner and the pink lipstick. And I chose this one because I wanted to show you what it looked like with more color on, but this look would also be really pretty with the nude. Um, there's lots of ways you can go with this. It's a little bit brighter of a lip because we're heading into spring. So I wanted to show you what it looked like on with different colors because last time I had it on, I had more neutral colors on. So I wanted to show you what it looked like with these. And these are just really pretty colors. And I know um, it's not purple. 
it's more of like the Merlot is like, it looks like a burgundy, it's a burgundy color. And then the Soft Heathers is like a grayish purple. So it's not really like you're wearing purple eyeshadow. That's why it's so pretty. It's a little different than wearing bold purple eyeshadow. And that's why I think it goes so well with so many different skin tones. And I think that's why so many of you love it and own it and use these colors because it's a little different. And it's just a really fun, beautiful set. And it goes really well with with your browns. It goes really well with um, pinks. So it's really versatile, which is one of the things I love so much about being able to mix and match your colors. Now I'm putting on uh, my Lash Intensity Mascara and I'm using the Lash Intensity Mascara because this is also a number one selling mascara. So I thought I'd show that to you as well since we're doing a full eye look. And that Lash Intensity Mascara, you comb through the lashes. There's different size brushes, bristles on this brush and I'm turning it and combing through my lash and you can see how my lashes are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The more coats you do, the bigger your lashes will get. And I did start with my lash primer as well. I always do my lash primer because it makes such a difference when it comes to mascara. I think it's time for me to change my mascara. <laughs> so I see a little, uh, I think it's getting a little dry in there. This is one of the top selling mascaras because it gives you the biggest, most voluminous eyelashes. And the more you apply it, the bigger it gets. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to put a little bit underneath here. I usually use um, the Lash Love underneath my lashes just because it's easier to get the tiny little eyelashes. But there we go, there's the look. This is the number one selling look from all of you over all these years. I went through my data and actually made it official. <laughs> um, and so this is Blossom, Candlelight, Soft Heathers, and Merlot Eyeshadow. And then I matched it tonight with the new pink lip kit, which just came out. It's a beautiful, really pink lip color. I don't have any gloss over it tonight, but any of the glosses, the pink glosses or the sheer gloss, the sheer illusions is so pretty over this, would go really well with it. So. This is a great eye kit for you to have because number one, it will save you money in the sense of you'll wear it all the time. Uh, you can mix it with lots of other colors you have in your collection. But like I said, if you are watching and you put a one in the comments because you wanna put some more money in your wallet, the best way to do that is I am scheduling virtual parties still um, for the upcoming next couple of weeks and in April. So if you would be interested in hearing more about that and understanding what that would look like and maybe get some of your products on your wish list for free, go ahead and just direct message me or comment below and we'll just chat about it and I'll give you all the details. It's a lot of fun. And also if you are comfortable doing a couple of things with friends where it's a small, small group, um, we, can, we can talk about that too and, and how we do that with COVID. So I thank you so much for watching tonight, ladies. I hope you have a great Thursday night. And if you have any questions, of course, drop them below. And as you can see, I just wanna make another note to you. I am wearing a greenish tint type color shirt. And one of the things that's so beautiful about wearing these colors is they really do work well with various different clothing colors. So as I mentioned in my video yesterday, which I'm so surprised how many of you loved the emerald eyeshadow. I, you guys loved this eyeshadow color. I mentioned in that video how pretty purplish colors and greens go well together because it's opposite ends of the color wheel. So as you can see, I'm wearing a greenish color shirt again and my eyes are pulling more green because I'm wearing the green shirt and the, has a little bit of that burgundy built into the shadows. So there you have it. If you have any questions, go ahead and reach, comment below. And I did type everything out above for you so you know what colors I have on. Thanks for watching. Have a great Thursday.